Hello everyone and welcome back to Symphony of Colors. In this video I will show you pedal pour, ribbon pour, uh, rolling cup and swell pour techniques. So let us start by pedal pour technique. It is a very simple pour and uh, in this pour we create puddles of colors on the canvas. Today I am using bronze, uh, metallic blue, deep blue, golden and white colors. In this pour you can either uh, pour colors separately or uh, pool colors over each other. So I am uh, pooling the colors, I am making because the style is 6 inch by 6 inch in size. So I cannot make many puddles over here so I am making two puddles and uh, the sequence of colors is same in both the uh, petals. In the petal pour you can choose not to add silicone and you will see nice wavy um, designs there but uh, to, since there is silicone in the paints today you will see some cell activity. I am now tilting the tile to spread the paints around and since there is silicone in the paint I will use heat gun so that the silicone comes out of the paint. And once the uh, the style dries, then I'll remove the silicone by cleaning the tile properly uh, before varnishing it. In this port, the cells are limited, but enhancing beauty of the style, and I'm totally loving it. The next port is ribbon port. And for that I will cover the uh, tile with colors and then pour over it. I don't want to keep the background as simple white background so I am adding uh, some color uh, on this tile before pouring ribbons. I am also using sticks dipped in different colors. And so so the background is slightly colorful now and now i will start with my ribbon pour i am doing a dirty ribbon pour but uh, it is also done by pouring single colors So I'm trying uh, my level best to keep some of the background and keep the shape of ribbons intact. But the cells have started forming already. Why don't I use a heat gun? So it's looking really pretty and there are wonderful cells. So this is my dirty ribbon pour. The next technique is a cup rolling technique, which actually I had accidentally found in one of my pour while doing fit and rack. So here we go with this technique because uh, I've been using it many times in many pores so that's why I want to show it to you so here I have covered the tile with white paint good amount of white paint and the sides as well this is the cup I was using to pour with when you have poured all the colors, the paint that stick to the wall come out very slowly and you can use it to make some spindle-like design. So you can see that I am making some circular movement with the edge of the cup and the paint is coming uh, down on the white paint slowly and slowly. And this is making some spindle-like designs on the tile. In it you need your canvas or tile covered with good amount of white color. 
now when i will use heat gun a very unique cells will emerge See these beautiful cells that have emerged at the end of uh, the spindles and I love these. The next technique that we are going to use today is swell board ink and for that I will be using some of this paint which is collected in this with the tile here and cover the tile with white paint you can choose any any color so because i have dirty muddy paints that i'm going to pour over here so that's why i'm using white tile is sitting here to this color i'm adding yellow and In this swirl pour, you make very small circular motion and uh, keep on uh, pouring the paint at the same point. And it helps in uh, forming many rings around it. And after the uh, rings are formed, then you tilt uh, the tile or the canvas and uh, spread it around and that way the distance between two rings increases. Because there was silicone in the paint, so some cell activity will happen over here. But I won't use heat gun on this. And the center of the uh, swell pour is expanded, so you can see the line. Uh, and I want to keep yellow and golden on, on the tile, so that's why I'm not uh, tilting it anymore. Maybe we can do it on this side. There you go. So I was able to save some golden and yellow on this tile. This is how it's looking and it's looking really pretty. I was thinking that since the colors are collecting in this receptacle for a long time, it won't look good, but the colors are separating and are looking really great. So this is the soil pool. So my tiles are ready and each tile has a different pouring technique on it and these will make very good coasters i'll now add a cork sheet at the base of these tiles and uh, varnish these i hope you enjoyed this project please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching